What is going on, everybody? DJ Minds here. All right, so look, if you're like me, you already have a full-time job, or maybe you're someone who doesn't even have a job, and you're looking for the internet to supplement that, right? You don't want to go out. You don't want a boss or a second boss. You don't really want to do any of that. You just want to kind of sit on your ass on your couch or in your bed or at work when you have free time and just make a little bit of side money. And honestly, free cash does that very, very well. I've used this for almost three months. So let's call it 80 something days. I don't know the exact day, 80 something days. I started on 7-Eleven, right? So you can look that up if you want. Before we get into the video, I do want to make a disclaimer. I am not sponsored from free cash. I have no affiliation from free cash. They've never hit me up for this video. I literally have just been looking for a side hustle since we're in a recession to earn a little bit of extra money so I can cover like my my electric bill i like to crypto mine you know and just make a little bit extra money without having another boss and honestly just chill out and doing it so in this video i'm going to go over the pros cons the awesome stuff the not so awesome stuff and just try to do this in an unbiased way so one thing i really love about this website is the constant freebies where you really don't have to do much or if you earn like a dollar you'll make a dollar 20 or a dollar 50 or you could potentially earn two dollars whatever it is just off of doing like a dollar's amount of work and it doesn't cost you anything there's no subscription based in this you'll never have to ever spend a penny on this website but you can continuously earn more and more money so for this particular month right this is october this challenge just started october 1st through october 31st they're giving out two hundred thousand dollars. that is insane because last month they were only giving out fifty thousand. i want to say the month before was like a hundred thousand something like that so two hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money guys and that goes to everybody it's not like one person wins two hundred thousand dollars it's actually it goes throughout the entire website so i think this is really cool a lot more earnings and like i said you don't really have to do anything and they just give you free money so they're giving out four rolexes they're also giving out these yeezy shoes and all these gift cards and stuff yeah maybe that's not for you maybe that's not something that sounds super interesting but at the end of the day it's free and you're sitting on your ass doing nothing right so if you look where my mouse is right here you can see that i completed the first day which was october 1st yesterday and now we are on the second day there's three chests and it's actually got a little bit harder today yesterday for the first chest level you only needed to earn 1000 coins which is one dollar you can just take off a zero it's the same thing is like us dollars or something the second time i had to earn i want to say 2500 coins and the third one was 10,000 points which is ten dollars today it's a little bit harder but i ended up completing all of them as you can see and the first one was two dollars and fifty cents that i had to earn five dollars and then finally had to earn fifteen dollars so i actually did not open this yet i wanted to do this on stream for you guys to show you an example so let's go ahead and do that real quick so here's some of the rewards that i could potentially win seven to ten keys I have a 56 percent chance of that which is really good these keys are how you get the rolexes I have a 42% chance to make money, a 0.043 chance to get a gift card, et cetera, et cetera. Let's open it. Let's see what we get, baby. Give me something good. Give me something good. And it, oh, $1.50 to $150. Okay, I just want an extra $1.86. All right, so another pro is actually the daily rewards. So go to the top here where it says rewards. It'll look slightly different on your phone. If you earn a single dollar on free cash, this isn't even every day. It's just one time you earn $1. You can use the daily bonus, and I have 14 hours left because I've already used mine. Sorry about that. But it looks something like this. You pretty much can double up your money or take the money and run. So the highest I've ever got because my, you know, my balls are only so big. I think I earned $4 or something like that. It changes the amount. So basically it goes green, red, green, red, green, red. You can double right so you could take the 40 cents or you could run away you go to 80 cents you go to a dollar 50 three dollars like i said I, I made closer to four dollars or something i got scared so there's some people i've seen that have made 50 dollars. i know one guy at work made like 25 bucks but for me i don't know i get really scared man especially when you didn't do anything you know i just try and take the money and run away in addition to the daily bonus ladder you also get these seven day streaks so you can win up to 50 dollars on the seventh day i'll try to show you that real quick right there on the seventh day you can win up to 50 bucks the highest i've made off this though was only like 250 or three dollars but again you know you made a dollar for that particular day you can see i've already claimed the second day then i'll do tomorrow third day blah 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 seventh day you get the bigger prize so again free money off of a dollar a day i mean that's really nothing and the bonus ladder stays there forever to my knowledge correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below but a dollar's amount of work a day i mean that's really nothing so another cool pro right if you go to the leaderboard up here again slightly different on your phone leadership board you have the daily so every day they give out 
five hundred dollars this has been higher before like in august i believe it was significantly higher but whatever right off of your dollar a day you earn and you, you get to be on the leaderboard potentially so this ends in nine hours you can see i'm ranked number 208 and that was with almost no effort that was i earned 15 dollars for the day almost 16 dollars for the day and i'm already in the top 10 percent right so i didn't come in here i didn't grind it out for a bunch of hours or whatever and i'll actually get rewarded for that so you can see the first place person for today will earn 50 dollars at the end of this 24 hour cycle the second place will get 35 bucks and the third place will get 17 dollars 50 cents again just free just for i don't know being being on there i got ranked 208 so if we scroll down all the way to the bottom these are some of the the people that will win right everybody in the top 100 makes some money it's not a lot of money as you come down here towards 100 an extra dollar for the day but hey you only put a dollar in or a, you know a two dollars worth of effort or whatever it is it's not a huge deal in addition to that you can also click on the five thousand dollar monthly so october plus you get all this as well for the month of october really cool the top three people will earn some serious money number one if you're number one on the website which i think is very possible if you have like nothing else to do uh you'll get 500 dollars. second place will get 350 dollars, and third place will get 175 dollars. plus they all win this ticket to win a rolex and i'm ranked 259 think about that guys and uh, this is only the second day of the 30 day challenge i'm the top one percent I'm the top 1% and all I have done is come in and got those free chests for the day. That's it. That's literally all I did. That means most of the website is sitting on their butt or not logging in or not doing anything. So uh, like I'm saying, you're not going to have to put in 20 hours to even make the leaderboard or anything. It's not unrealistic. And as you can see, number 259, if you scroll down here, all these guys are going to make 125 bucks for the month. It doesn't even include their daily rewards. Plus win a chance to get the, the Rolex. Only four people get it. Everybody else will get $100 if they win a ticket. The top 100 scroll into the bottom we'll get an extra nine bucks plus all the other dailies and all the other stuff so you can see how this adds up really quickly without having to put in that much effort you just get so many free bonuses another pro is their discord giveaways twitter giveaways instagram giveaways how i find that out is i'm a member of their discord i'm not going to put a link for the discord because again i'm not associated with them and uh yeah if you want to find that check it out for yourself but under announcements you can see here man they'll give out i don't know free 30 cents free 50 cents or whatever just for following them or just retweeting something or whatever it is it's not a lot but again it adds up with all your daily stuff and you don't even have to put in any money for that you can literally just be a part of their discord and win three times a day or whatever it is so it does go fairly quickly you got to get it within like maybe five or ten minutes but hey it's free now a discord that i will share with you is my own now i am primarily a crypto miner crypto miner youtuber however i did create a free cash app section right here feel free to talk about hey this game was good this game did pay me this survey was great this was so great and that's what i would like to do is where we can share information and we could kind of all learn together and create another community a huge pro for me is the way you get paid out so if you go to the top here where it says cash out again slightly different on your phone you only need 25 cents, sometimes 50 cents to get paid in these cryptocurrencies or whatever you're choosing. It could be US dollars, gift cards, blah, blah, blah. Personally, I really like getting paid out in cryptocurrencies, more specifically Bitcoin. Crypto mining is really rough, but I still want to crypto mine. I have almost 200 graphics cards and none of them are mining because they all losing me money. However, I can still maintain some sort of income from crypto without paying an electricity. How cool is that? Without paying electricity? Yeah, it's not a huge amount of money. So, so far using free cash, I've made just over $700. Hopefully you're seeing that on the screen right now. And I've taken that all out in Bitcoin. Now, why did I choose Bitcoin over like a gift card or something else? I think that $700 a couple of years from now could be potentially worth $1,400 or $2,100, right? Just for this amount of money that I have, I do plan on continuing it. So, I, you know, down the line, it could be worth five, dollars $10,000 because I think cryptocurrency overall will go up, right? Where I get US dollars, I don't think that'll go up, right? You get $50 US USD, that's all you get is $50. Or you get a gift card to Amazon, great. It's still worth what you paid for it. There's really no upside. Now there is a little bit of risk because of course it could go down, but I do believe in Bitcoin. I do believe in like Litecoin if you choose that. So there are a lot of really cool payment methods that you can use. Now for me, I don't feel comfortable holding a lot of money in my account, right? So every $50, if I'm feeling risky, maybe like every $60, I'll cash out. Why? Because I don't want to cash out every dollar or anything because you do have to pay a 25 cent fee, maybe 50 cents fee so you don't you don't want it to be too little but at the same time what if you get 
banned. Not that I do anything wrong, but what if for whatever reason you got flagged or banned and they hold all your money, right? So that's why I like to cash out around the $50 mark, or maybe you want to do $30, whatever it is. Just keep in mind, you are going to have to pay a fee. But for me personally, my recommendation for y'all is not to keep all your money on there for too long, just in case. All right, so I've told you the pros, but how do you actually make money? You're probably wondering. Okay, good question. So let's go to earn up here at the top. This is what you're going to see at first, which is the featured offers. This is like what free cash is throwing out at your face. Now, a lot of these are okay, but most of them I would say you have to pay for, right? I've only paid for one thing ever, and that was for Rise of Kingdoms. Unfortunately, that game is not offered anymore, at least to my knowledge. And it was like a $9.99. You spend $9.99 in gems to help you progress in the game, and they give you $20 back. And I got the money back within like two minutes. So it was pretty cool, quick $10, and it counts towards your daily. So you'll get that as well, plus the other bonuses. But for the feature offers, honestly, I don't really look at these too much. I'll click on them. And if it says like, I need to invest this money or whatever, you know, if it's spending money, I really don't do it. Although, you know, this is how the big dogs are doing it. I'm assuming I haven't really asked them, but I'm assuming, you know, because some of these you invest like $5 on something called Moo Moo, which is like a stock trading app and they'll give you $50 back, right? I'm just focused on the free stuff personally, but hey, if that's your style, that's your style. Next, you're going to see the offer walls. Now, these are the companies, right? This is mostly games and and I really like doing this the most. However, this is very time consuming. So, you know, I at Studios for me is the best one. I think most people like this, but the games haven't been quite as good as they used to be the last month or so. The first month and a half, incredible games. And I want to say this, anything casino related, anything with slots, gambling, I don't like any of those games. They're very time consuming. You make like 10 bucks, but you put it in like a week or two. Vikings, fair warning, did not pay out. I got the first two payouts out of five challenges and they never paid me the rest. I don't know why. It's quite annoying. I've emailed them. They just don't pay out. Dissolite did pay me out until the last one. And there was a lot of good games here, like State of Survival that paid, the Mafia game paid. A lot of the IIT Studio games will pay. I've had one issue again, which was Vikings. Besides that, IIT Studio is really solid. But this is going to change month to month. By the time you see this video, it could change, right? All these games could change. There's also Review, and you can see here they're giving 50% bonuses of what they normally would. Lootably, I used to like this one. Not a huge fan. I'll let you experiment with those, but personally, IIT Studios is for me the best. Now, surveys this is probably the most consistent money i'll get into the cons of surveys in a little bit but this is probably the best one is cpx research it is kind of annoying though you know you have to sit here and take some surveys though it is very easy to make a dollar doing surveys right this one gives you two bucks takes about 13 minutes of your time you know hey and then you'll unlock that chest or whatever you were doing for the day this one's only 25 cents so you got to experiment with these and understand they are looking for a very specific demographic all right so now we're going to get into the cons and the things that aren't so great about free cash firstly is the inconsistency with these surveys man some of these will just drive you crazy like i said this one pays you two dollars right that sounds great you get there and then you don't qualify all of a sudden okay great oh that's fine let me go to the next survey maybe this one this 12 minutes of my time i've had it literally where there's like 80 questions and on the 79th question it says oh you're, we're looking for somebody else you're not qualified so i don't know what's going on with that now i don't think any of this is ran from free cash that's just my assumption from what i've gathered all these surveys are going to be from different companies from from maybe it's pizza hut looking for it or ford dealership or whatever right whatever your favorite brand is sometimes it's a video game company or a beauty product i wish there was a way on free cash to just filter all of that out like maybe there was something that i could fill out and say this is how old i am this is my age yes i have kids this is my home or whatever and then it could filter hey you qualify for these and you could just do the surveys and be smooth as butter unfortunately that is not the case by any means like i said you'll come in here man and you'll be so frustrated sometimes and you'll get halfway through and you just wasted eight minutes for no reason but then there's other days i come in it's smooth as butter you know and i fully qualify for it so they in my opinion need to create some kind of system where you're fully pre-qualified and then just show us what we're qualified for because it's just such a time waste i'll sit there sometimes for an hour just trying to earn a dollar and it doesn't happen all the time but it's very frustrating when it does happen and i know some other people have experienced this you'll see people talk about this all the time in like the public chat that's on free cash it's just really annoying when you come in and you're like i just want to earn a dollar and it ends up taking me an hour or something because of the surveys just being silly another con for me is the inconsistency with the games there's no timeline at least that i have seen i don't know what's going to happen i don't know when it's going to get removed i was in the middle of doing state of survival and then suddenly it was gone from the website now can i still earn from that i don't know 
can I still earn from that? It doesn't say that this will expire from the website in 45 days. It'll say you have 30 days to do a challenge, but it, then it fully disappears from your website. So then it kind of concerns me, like, will I still get paid? I did have one that still paid me after getting removed, but it's just something to bring up. Or like if they could add in something that's like, hey, next month we're getting uh, Raid Shadow Legends and then we're also getting a Diablo Mortal or whatever, right? If there was some kind of projection, but really you just come in here, you get surprised. And then you, like I said, sometimes you'll be halfway through a game, completely removed. You can't find it. You can't check the status of, of what's going on with your money. But I don't always have this problem. It, it is something that has happened to me. And it's just something that I think needs to be fixed. And a projection or a schedule would be awesome for free cash. Another con for me is going to be how the support system works, right? So you can see here, there's like a little red arrow. This is how you can talk to everybody, which is pretty cool because I'll ask people, hey, do you guys got any good offers? 90% of people will tell you no, but every now and then somebody's pretty cool. I'm pretty cool if you ask me. I don't mind telling you a game. Some people treat it like competition. That's fine, right? You go to support here. Maybe you didn't get paid on something and you'll write them and they'll be like, oh, we don't actually deal with any of that. You need to go to the studio. So like right here, add gym. Nah, you need to hit them up. We don't deal with that, right? And so that's really annoying. Like I said, with Viking, I messaged them. It took them one month to respond to me. And all they said was, oh, we see that you didn't get paid. Well, let us know if you still have that problem. And uh, yeah, we'll refund you the money. Dude, I waited a whole month and told you I had the problem and showed you I had the problem. You confirmed I had the problem and you still didn't pay me. And now what? I have to wait another month just to hear from some of these studios. I don't know where they're based. Maybe it's China. Maybe it's India. Who knows where some of these companies are based. So when they don't pay you and free cash just tells you, ah, we don't deal with any of that. Go talk to them. Well, they don't really respond to you, right? So when you don't get paid, it's really annoying. I'm not really sure what they do for the support over on free cash. Maybe it's like your login or something, but it is quite frustrating when you don't get paid and there's really no one to talk to and, and free cash just says, ah, we don't deal with it. Now I can see both sides of this. If they were to open up a section that's like this game didn't pay because what happens is a lot of these games won't pay you the second you're done with that, right? Which is totally understandable. Maybe it takes 24 hours. I've had Ebony, which took 30 days, but at least they announced, hey, we pay you in 30 days. That's cool. I think it'd be awesome if free cash put more pressure on these companies. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they do care. Maybe they're working it. I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, but there should be something, right? When 20 people are not getting paid from Vikings, this is an actual problem. And when you tell them, they can't help you, right? So there's got to be some kind of system there. And again, I understand how the, there would be so many people complaining. Hey, I just finished this offer. Hey, I just finished this offer. It's been five minutes, right? And they're very impatient. I understand that point of view as well. But there's got to be something. There's got to be something they can do to put the pressure on these studios. Like, hey, dude, you're sending us games that people aren't getting paid on. That's a concern, though. It's only happened to me. I want to say once. I know for sure Vikings, maybe twice out of like 30 offers. So it's not a huge problem, but it is a problem that I have experienced and I have seen other people experience. All right. So now let's get into the review. We've gone over the good, the bad, the awesome, the not so awesome. What do I think about free cash after using it for nearly three months now? I have to say free cash is awesome. I really, really like it. Now, are you going to make more money than even working at McDonald's? I don't think so. I definitely think it, if you want to go from like a risk reward or time versus, you know, is this worth it on a, an hourly basis? Absolutely. Getting a part-time job, you know, dealing with a boss and employees and customers and stuff is certainly going to be a lot more profitable. However, if you already have a job or maybe you're looking for a summer gig or just again, making a couple bucks here and there for minimal effort. And sometimes, you know, you could earn more money for putting in more effort absolutely free cash is awesome i tried out swag bucks i tried out some of these other ones man their app is terrible you know there's really no community in it and i don't see like the free constant giveaways that these guys are doing i mean the chance that i'll get the rolex is like 0 0.001 or something but it's cool knowing in the back of my mind hey there's a super small chance that i could win a rolex you know i don't really base my review off of that but it is cool getting an extra 50 cents or a dollar or five dollars really for doing nothing. And I haven't seen any of the other apps do that. This is kind of the future, I think, in some regards. I don't think these kind of websites are gonna go away five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, right? The youth, the younger kids, they're not looking to go out and cut the grass, you know what I mean? And so that's where I think this is really good for is younger people, younger adults, maybe your teenager or something. You know, to a kid, 300 bucks for the month is pretty cool, right? And there's also like a referral system. Again, you know, pretty much every website I'm playing Earth 
Earth has a reward system, Amazon, Walmart, your bank, it doesn't matter, right? So you can tell your friend and then you earn whatever percent, I think it's like 5% of what they earn, but they don't lose any of that money, if that makes sense, right? And so there's always a lot of opportunities to earn more and to tell more people. And again, it doesn't cost you anything. You can spend money if you want to spend money. So yeah, I really like free cash. I think I'm going to absolutely continue to use free cash. Maybe I'll do a six month review. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see a one year review, let me know and I'll just tell you how it was. And again, I don't really put too much time into it, except for October, baby. October, I'm going hard. I'm going to try my best. I'm, I'm going to do my best to earn those three chests every single day because that's just, you know, that motivates me to earn more money plus the rewards are giving you plus the daily and blah, blah, blah. It's just an insane month right now. I don't know if I'm going to get this chance again because it didn't happen in the other month. So that's my review. If you made it to this far in the video, please do put in hashtag water. That way I'll know that you watched the entire video. Hashtag water in the comment section below. Again, please check out the link in the description below for my Discord. You can also check out the link for free cash in my Discord. I hope you have a great day and let me know if you want to see a longer video for six month and 12 month review on this. DJ Minds signing out.